with another video. You know, these days I'm learning Scratch and I find it very interesting. We can make games, short animated stories, and also some greeting cards. I made one for my mom on her birthday. So I want to share what I'm learning with you. So let's get started. So guys, let me tell you about broadcast. So broadcast is right in events broadcast <clears throat> so so for example you want to make this guy talk how will you make it talk you can say when this is clicked say where is the say yeah say Hello. Hello. Now, but the problem is, what if you're making a story and there, and two of them are talking continuously? You can't just press this again and again. <clears throat> so, what you can do is, first I'll pick another sprite. Let's see what we can pick. We'll just put pick anything just pick this bed so first this will say hello and then this can say hello but it's like these two are just in the computer they don't even know what's happening we just tell them to do something and then they just do it so if this guy says hello this guy wouldn't really know that we have to say hello because they are just going there by our control. What we are telling them to do in the <coughs> script is what they are doing. They don't even know that there is another sprite in front of it. Like that. So say hello and then it can broadcast something. Broadcast. Broadcast is like telling them like now you do this <clears throat> so broadcast and what do we say hello you can put any name but i'll just put hello so wait a minute yeah for two seconds then it will say hello then now this guy will say hello back to him now we can't like do this it, it will be too hard to match it like without a broadcast broadcast if there was no broadcast what would you do when this is pressed say hello hello for two seconds so what you will do here is when this is pressed wait what happened wait for three seconds because it's one more than two and then you just say say hello for two more seconds then if the cat wants to say back then you will also say you will do it again you'll go to the cat and and say and put another script saying when i uh like saying you will go here, not another script. You will go here and then, right, and then put. This is two seconds, so you will go back there and put three seconds. Wait three seconds, then say it. So like right now it's like this. Yeah. But how to make it better? Instead of like seeing it again and again. What if you're halfway, like almost finished with it? And then you realize you have so many mistakes. And then you have to do it all over again. Instead of that, you can just use broadcast. So you don't have to say, wait for a few seconds, things like that. You can just go here. <clears throat> uh, and say, when I receive. So it's like, it will receive the broadcast. It's like, 
We are telling it to do it. The cat told us to do to tell him, and then we are telling him the bat. So it's like like that. <clears throat> so when I receive hello, say hello. No, now let's see. Wait a minute, what just happened? Oh yeah, I forgot to broadcast hello. Okay, now let's see it. Hello! See? It's better. <clears throat> now I have made a lot of stories like that. You can also do... Okay, let me tell you one of the... You can... Okay, first I'll tell you something more. Like the bat. You want to make the bat fly. Now it can't just go by itself. As I told you, you have to use the... Oh my god, what happened? You have to use the X and Y, right? <coughs> so, you, like, this... So what if this guy says, the cat says, Can you get me, like, uh... Can you show me how you fly? So it's like... Can you show me how to fly? <coughs> yeah, like that. Something like that. And then you can just... Uh-oh. <laughs> and then you can just make another one. So, it took... You can just make any name for it. I'll put show. And then this... So, when I receive show, it will go up there. So, glide to this. And then, wait a few seconds. Just make it, let's make it one. And then come back where it was, which was here. So, <clears throat> so, it can be like that. Did I broadcast it? Broadcast it? Yes, I did. Okay. Now let's do it. Can you show me how to fly? Like that. So, it's like, you can make actions with it. You can make dialogues. Now, I made one story. I made one story, which was this. I made it, it had so many. This is a broadcast, then it comes here, and then change the backdrop. And then the dialogue says broadcasts. Then it goes back up. Then the hunter comes. That's a broadcast. Then this iron comes. That's a broadcast. Then this is a broadcast. There are a lot of broadcasts in the story. <coughs> Ow, that hurts. That's also a broadcast. Thank you for saving me. Now, another broadcast. Broadcast. Change backdrop. Like that. So it has a lot of broadcasts. Let me show you the script. It's a lot. <clears throat> like, mm, when I receive, so like I s broadcasted it somewhere. Okay. Hmm, where is it? Broadcast B. I just named it B, A, B, save. Some of it, I was like so tired making it, I just named it B, A, you know, broadcast message one, this, is, this was the first broadcast I did. So, you can use a lot of broadcasts. As you saw in this story, you can use broadcast to make something hide. You can, you, you can use broadcast to speak. <clears throat> You can also use broadcast to act, 
for actions, changing the backdrop, changing the costume, even costumes. Like all those things. <clears throat> okay. So that's all. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have learned and understood what I shared with you in this video. So, if you have any questions, comment down below and I'll be very happy to answer them. So, that's all for today. I'll commit more, more videos for Scratch. So, till then, keep practicing and bye!